friends, good to see you again. So, we have lots of big plans today, and one of them involves this wool shop. It's owned by Epic Blue Mouse, and she is a fantastic person here on Mystic SMP. But, you know what? I need a lot of wool, so I'm hoping maybe she'll cut me a deal. If she not, I can probably afford it. Um, one few other things. It's basically, we're going to be dealing a lot with shops today, and then we're going to start laying out where we're going to put the railroad tracks a bit, too. And I think Yan Yan's going to help on that last bit. So let's head into the store and see what's up. Oh, hello, Mouse. Wasn't expecting to see you here. Oh, hi, Janny. Uh, I need a lot of wool, but, um, where's your stock hat? Oh. It's up there. Oh, so it is. Um, how much? Well, my current prices are two stacks for one diamond. But, since you're sort of working on some cool railroad stuff, maybe we can cut a deal. I could use a fairly large amount of wool. Uh, to give you an idea of what I need, we're putting in four railroad lines, and I need to put survey markers approximately every 25 to 50 blocks apart. Whoa. On That's the whole. Be a lot of... <laughs> yeah, so I need. I need red, blue, purple, and orange colors. Well. I can do that for you. Now the purple, you know, somebody on the server really likes purple. Well, let me look and see what you got. Uh, you do still have a fair amount of it. Uh, tell you what, I will buy five stacks of each color. Okay, so about eight diamonds, right? Yep. Here you are. Ah. <laughs> oh, that one went the wrong spot. for the business, Janie. Come back anytime. Oh, I will. I will. This is probably just the first load I'm getting. Thank you so much, Mouse. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Well, friends, welcome back to the Iron Farm. Now, unfortunately, Despite us having a ton of workers up there, eh, the rate of production has gone down a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. We're down to 100 iron ingots an hour, and that's just kind of painful considering how much noise we got up there. There's over 70 villagers, and we're only getting 100 iron per hour, and a ton of poppies. So. I need to retrofit this farm so we can up the rates, and I might even put in a little bit of an upgrade to our storage, because right now, the poppies and the iron get mixed in. And that up there, you're looking at the first golem I've seen in the past 10 minutes. <sighs> okay, well, let's get to work. We're going to be putting the new design up there, about 30 blocks. And this is going to be a little bit of hassle, but we should be able to get roughly 800 iron out of this thing an hour. Maybe even more if I build two. But for now, we're just going to build one, and then I'll see if I want to tile it to get more iron a little bit later. Anyways, time to get going. Let's see, middle of this thing. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we'll just go one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Ah, didn't mean to do it that way. Let me get it back. Yay! There's going to be a whole lot more of you soon, sir. See, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
Well friends, let me introduce you to the center of our new iron factory. A cauldron. But not just any cauldron. It's going to be a cauldron full of zombies. He's going to be a very, very important supervisor of the whole thing. And then we're going to put some villagers to that side and this side. And then we're just going to get tons and tons and tons of iron. Now, here, let me show you how. Got one, barely. Now all I have to do is wait until it's night and then I can shove him up there and he'll be done. Uh. We need to hit minecart, not him. And I killed him. Oh, no, I didn't. He just found a val valid place to go. Okay. Well, we got him up here. thorns on my armor and killed him. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, yeah, you get to die.
Oh, finally. Well, friends, welcome to my pop-up iron shop. I built this really, really quickly back when I made the first version of the iron farm, and the idea was it was temporary, and I would get to it in a couple weeks. Four months later, it's time for this shop to go away, and we're going to build ourselves a proper, proper store. Now, to my right, we have this lovely, lovely post office with all of our things in it. You've seen that one before, I think. And, well, friends, one good building does deserve another. So, I'm going to put my chicken away, and I'm going to build a wonderful, brand new hardware store that'll be the envy of all the other shops.
Well, friends, we got the building done. What do you think? I think it's going to be pretty cool. But you know what will make this store actually great? If we put some stuff inside. Come on. Let's get this done. Well, friends, that took a lot of work. Matter of fact, two, three days. <laughs> We've been figuring out places to put everything, and everything has a place. We're still not done yet, but this will give you a good idea of what the store looks like. Would you like a tour? Come on, let's go have a look. This is where all our redstone supplies are going to be. Next to that, well, we have the lighting department. Oops. <laughs> we have glowstone. We have glowstone. We have... Well, we're going to have end rods, some sea lanterns, regular lanterns, every little thing that you could want. And a little bit further back, a place near and dear to my heart, the railroad department. Now in the back, we have our iron department. We want to make it so the customers... Well, we know a lot of our customers are here for the iron. And we want to give them a reason to, you know, notice other things they want. So we put the iron in the very, very back of the store. We also have a gardening department and you can buy saplings, shears, and even some dirt. Now butted up against the garden department, we have lumber. And fences and signs and various other things made out of wood. And to my left, we have chests, barrels, item frames we're gonna have you ender chest over in that top one over in the corner and oh i've been looking for a place to put this stuff bookshelves we're gonna put them in there too now in this corner of the shop we have all sorts of wonderful goodies we have clear glass and panes we also have sand and gravel we're going to have all the important colors of powder concrete and then over here we are going to have clay, bricks, soul sand, smooth stone, and I'm going to look for a place to put both packed ice and clear ice, but I'm not quite sure where they're going to go. Then over here we have our seasonal, where we're going to be putting up some fantastic window displays here very, very soon, as well as our cash register and ender chest very important so people can actually get to their diamonds if they need them and that's pretty much it for the store now with that task done let's go see if we can figure out where we're going to put some train tracks well friends we're back here at the train station because it's time to make those tracks actually go someplace but we need to plan that out so i'm going to put down some wool and some lanterns on top of it and it'll be perfect but we need to figure out where up oh, yan yan Hi, everybody. Hi, Yan Yan. Oh, you are. Oh, that's. I was about ready to go out and put down markers. <laughs> I, I can help. Uh, sure. Why not? Uh, let's go get you some armor. Okay.
one last one. Good job, Yan Yan. Oh, okay, friends. That's it for today. Let's see, what did we do today? We improved the iron farm. We made a store. And last of all, we put down these markers. I think it was a good day. What do you think, Yan Yan? I think it was a good day. Fantastic. Okay. What do you say we head home? I have to go to school tomorrow. Yes, you do. Say good night, folks. Night, night. Night. See you, folks. Bye, friends. Bye.